Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. You're going to need Bellatro purchased and installed. Let's uh, let's keep this uh, legal, folks. Let's not be like these guys oh, right here, huh? I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that that's over with, what we're going to need to do is go to this GitHub page. There's a link in the description below. And this is for the Bellatro Mobile Maker. Head on over to the right side here where it says releases. Click there and scroll down until you find the Win X64 EXE. And we're going to download that to our PC. All right, we'll save it. Make sure it says it's an application and we're good. Now, this is an EXE file. You can virus check it if you like, but uh, it's pretty clean. So let's go ahead and go through this. I asked to automatically clean up, but it didn't really clean up. Do you want extra logging information? I don't know. Yes, we're building for Android, not for iOS, so we'll say no to that. And this goes, and uh, this can take a while. I'm not trimming any of this out because I want you guys to see how long it takes um, so you know that the tool's still running. There's no visual indicator that it's actually doing anything other than giving you the last thing that happened. So we're just gonna sit here and let this thing unpack. Essentially, it's, uh, you know, uh, you could read up on it if you've never built an Android app before. Um, essentially, it looks like it's downloading some sort of a shell here. It's using the APK tool and OpenJDK to actually rebuild the APK file, do some signing of it so that uh, the phone doesn't think it's some sort of weird software, but this can take a while. Now this used to use um, a regular JDK, which you would have to have downloaded and installed yourself if you saw my other video. It looks like they're using Open JDK now, so you won't, you shouldn't have to worry about it. But if you happen to see something about Java, go ahead and let them do whatever they want to do, and you can delete it later. So this should be done momentarily. And now let's talk about how you're gonna get this APK file. Uh, wait, let's uh, go ahead and apply the FPS cap patch. So that's all the way up to you. I use the landscape orientation patch because I have high DPI, high resolution. These are all custom based on sort of what your phone is. Um, I have also disabled the CRT shader. I don't need that on my phone. It'll just degrade the quality of it on my screen. And here we go. So now it takes my options. It's putting the files together that it needs to, and it's actually gonna pack up that final APK, that Android package file, that we will then move over to our phone and install there. Now, how you get it to your phone is totally up to you. For me, I just plugged my phone into my PC, turned on USB file copying, and it was pretty simple. Now you can see it's finishing up now, and uh, there we go. All right, now it asks if you wanna automatically install, you're gonna to have to have like, like ADB bridge or any, something else to do that. I, I, I would say no to this, and if you don't say no, then you can't get out of it. You'll have to like control C to get out of this. And that's okay, easy peasy. It just, you just keep saying no and it keeps asking you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug my phone in now and I'm going to select my USB options. This varies from phone to phone. It may work fine out of the box. Here's the file that we're interested in, bellatro.apk. You do not need the unsigned version, just that first one. All right, so now my phone should be coming up here in just a moment, and there she is. And I'm gonna go to my downloads folder because that's where I put temporary files. It makes good sense. And I will copy, you don't need to copy both, just copy the original bellatro.apk. Copy them on over, and you're good to go. Pretty simple stuff. Now we're gonna flip over to the phone and do the actual installation. So here we are on the phone. I'm using the Explore File Manager. It's absolutely fantastic. If you're not using it, I recommend it. We're gonna go to our Downloads folder using whatever file manager you want. Tap bellatro.apk, and if all goes well, it will say that it installed, and you can open it right from there. Now, I don't know what happened with the screen capture software, it completely freaked out on the phone, but I can assure you that it looks much better than this on the actual phone. But that's really about it. Um, listen, if this was helpful, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armand Rowe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.